subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for latest videos. Hi friends, here in this video, we are going to see the different modes of heat transfer. So, let's get started. So basically there are three modes of heat transfer that is conduction, convection and radiation. Conduction takes place in case of solids. Convection in which at least one of the medium should be fluid and that fluid means not only liquids but it can be air or gases. Radiation heat transfer is that heat transfer which does not require any medium for heat flow. That is conduction and convection they require some medium like solids or liquids or air and gases but radiation heat transfer it does not require any medium now to explain the concept regarding conduction convection and radiation i'll just give a rough example like for example over here now suppose these examples which i'm giving here there are five students who are standing in a straight line I'll give the notation that is first, second, third, fourth and fifth. In order to explain conduction, convection and radiation, I'm using this example that there are five students. Now, if I give a book to the first student and tell him to transfer the book to the last student, that is in this case, it is the fifth student. So here. This is the first student and here is the fifth or the last student. Now the instruction is that the first one should transfer the book to the last. Now what are the methods in which he can transfer the book? One of the methods is that first student will pass the book to the second without moving from its own place. Next, second would transfer to the third again without moving from its place. Third would, would pass on it to the fourth student and the fourth one would pass it to the last student without leaving their place. So whenever this example which I have shown, similarly it is for a heat. Whenever the heat gets transferred in case of conduction, the molecules they do not leave their place, but they transfer heat from one molecule to another. So such kind of heat transfer is called as the conduction heat transfer. Next, in case of convection heat transfer, I'll take a, the same example that the book is to be transferred from the first to the fifth student. Now another method of transferring the book would be that the first student would leave its place. That is, he's going to go directly to the fifth student and then transfer the book. So here what is happening is the student number one is leaving its place and then it is transferring the book to the last student surpassing or it is just bypassing all these molecules. So whenever the same example can be considered for a heat that whenever heat is transferred from one molecule to the another molecule and the molecule has to leave its place and then transfer the heat to the molecule. So that kind of example is considered as convection heat transfer. And in order to explain radiation, another method of transferring the book from the first to the last student would be that the first student will remain at its place and he is just going to throw the book to the fifth student without again passing through any of the medium. So such kind of heat transfer is called as radiation heat transfer which does not require any medium. The molecule is at its own place and the heat is transferred by throwing. So that is an example of radiation heat transfer. And as we have seen in case of conduction, the molecules are required. Heat gets transferred from one molecule to another. In convection, the molecule leaves its own place and then transfers the heat energy. Whereas in case of radiation, no medium is required. So in short, that was an example considering conduction, convection and radiation. Now conduction heat transfer mostly takes place
in case of solids where the molecules are not leaving their place then convection heat transfer takes place between solid and fluid and this fluid may be air gas or liquids or it can even be said that it is the heat transfer between two fluids and those fluids may be air gases liquid anything so it is clear that in case of convection heat transfer at least one medium should be fluid whereas in case of conduction we are mostly encountering conduction in case of solids and radiation it is that heat transfer which is transferred in the form of electro magnetic waves and it does not require it does not require any medium like for example there is sun and earth the radiation heat energy from the sun moves from the sun towards the earth without any medium and it is in the form of electromagnetic waves in discrete packets which are called as photons so that is an example of radiation heat transfer so in short that was a quick explanation of the modes of heat transfer at the end if you will find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching